Uh, I want a nerf sniper rifle that doesn't suck. I want a nerf sniper rifle that has realistic bolt action. I want a nerf sniper rifle that actually outperforms Sanard Elite Blasters rather than just having subpar mid 60s performance like they all. What? What? But. There is no way. Y'all aren't being serious. This actually happened in the Ultra series? So yes, this is the Nerf Ultra Faro, a sniper rifle and in fact one of the first sniper rifles to come out in a long time that actively competes with the Centurion for battle of the best Nerf sniper. And honestly, I think we might have a clear victor here despite the proprietary ammo types and despite the fact that it is a giant Chungus Blaster and quite an expensive Chungus Blaster as well. But we gotta start with the design. Oh man, the Pharaoh looks good. This is a blaster that I love looking at. It looks so futuristic, and the gold really does it justice. I think this is one of the prettiest looking Ultra Blasters out there. Granted, all of the Ultra Blasters look really, really good, at least from this side. And when you flip it over, they actually shrunk the Ultra logo down, and good lord, this thing is dusty. <laughs> It's actually been a really long time since I've picked this thing up, primarily because uh, bespoke ammo types. But yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad from the other side, even though they didn't copy any of the paint. I think that the blaster sort of simplistic design makes it look better, in my opinion. If anything, it actually looks more premium from this side than the other side, because it's just like nice white with the sort of triangular patterns on it, the orange front end, and then the slight gold details. It's just like a really nice simplistic aesthetic, and I really dig it a lot. What about ergonomics? because come on, ultra ergonomics are not known for being very good. This grip works. Now this is the standard ultra grip design, you know, the one that started on the Ultra 2 and then followed all the way to the end, but it actually works the best for this blaster, not just because the blaster is bigger and more primary size, so it's better balanced for a grip like this, but also the grip is just physically larger than most other ultra blasters with the same grip, to the point where it actually feels like it's very well designed on this blaster. I love holding this thing a lot, and that's just the main grip. The stock is the perfect length and feels very nice to brace against your shoulder alongside the cheek rest which is very smooth and flat with no unnecessary details to dig into your shoulder. As for the foregrip, because yes, it has one, it is nice and comfortable. Even though it's kind of just like a ridge that guides you down to the magazine, you can hold it like this with the magazine, but I like to hold it like this better. It's just a little bit more comfortable. But how does this thing work? Well, you have a magazine holder in the back just like the long shot did, which is awesome. But how, how does it actually work? Well, you take an ultra magazine, you pull the bolt up and then back, and you load your mag in. You, then you load your mag in. There you go, it's a little bit fiddly. You push it forward, you put the bolt down, and then you fire once. And because it's an ultra blaster that is past the ultra one's performance standard, it actually shoots really, really hard. And that is quite a big deal, because let's say you were to make this thing shoot, say, half-length darts, you would have an amazing Nerf sniper rifle right here. And it just so happens that there is a short darts conversion kit for this nugget. But the act of the realistic bolt action right here is just a game changer. This is so cool. It has been so long since I have seen any Nerf bolt action blasters that actually have a realistic style of bolt action. And it's only on one side, so it's not ambidextrous, but it is more realistic to an actual like firearm bolt sled mechanism thing. So you kind of have to take your hand off the main grip in order to pull the bolt up and then prime it, but it works very well. I think that the way that this blaster works is excellently designed and is one of the best mechanisms you could have for something something like this. It's just, oh, it's so good. There is one slight drawback, and that is the awesome looking scope. It looks really good, huh? 
Good luck ever seeing anything through it. Hilariously though, Nerf remedied this pretty quickly after this blaster was released by putting freaking iron sights on top of it. It doesn't work, but it gets the job done and you get to keep the good aesthetic of the scope, so uh, A for effort, Hasbro. A for effort. Now, I need to do the firing demo, but there's just nothing to shoot at around here. What could I possibly use? <gasps> the perfect target. Oh my gosh, we're going to pull you in a minute. First, we got to equip a tactical bipod. Because a, a sniper rifle isn't a sniper rifle unless it's got a bipod that's super technical to go along with, with the tacticalness of the sniper rifle. Yeah, 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 what I'm talking about. I was going to set that up, and I got I got to get some eye protection. I got this thing from Ollie's. They only wanted $5 for it, so what's the harm in it? Alrighty. The target is in sight. We got six out of the We got to make sure that we... 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 Alright, here we go. Aiming for the head. Shot number one. I literally hit him right on his nose. That's historical. That one just flew all the way across the room. That just went non-existent. Nope. I aimed better. There we go. Oh. I'm such a nerd. Oh, still sailing across the room. That's not very accurate. Oh, there we go. That one hit him right off between the eyes. And I'm out of darts. Oh my gosh. So the Nerf Ultra Faro, it doesn't actually come with this bipod, this came with the Modulus Long Strike, but I highly recommend that you use this bipod with it because it just matches perfectly. But this blaster overall is one of the few Ultra Blasters that I genuinely think everybody should give a chance because it is so good that it is worth having your collection even if you hate everything with this logo on it. I know a few people in particular who really, really don't like looking at this logo because of how bad this series is. But this blaster is so good that it outshines past the bad nature of the series and I honestly think it's worth buying. Even if you don't want it for ultra darts, you can make it shoot short length darts and there are designated kits for this thing to make it shoot short length darts, so that's something that you can consider for the future. If you want to purchase this blaster, I'll leave it in the description below. With that said, thanks for watching. Bye!